All right, looking at the rear brakes here, and I'm gonna just clean them up. I wanna clean these, ah, God, the glare. I wanna clean these little metal pieces here. So I'm just gonna, usually, next time I need brakes, I'm gonna replace them. But you take unscrew these and unscrew those. We're gonna pull this off, okay? So we're gonna unscrew this, unscrew this, and then we're gonna pull this piece off, all right? This is the rear wheel on a V-Star 1300. Most motorcycles are kind of similar. So let's pull, this is already loosened. Let me pull these out. All right, so let's pull these out like that. All right, pull that out like that. All right, now that we have this here, we can slide the caliper off. Okay, and if you got a rim, you're gonna wanna just be careful with your wheel. All right, slide it off. And there goes your caliper. We're gonna clean this up. And what we're gonna use, we're gonna use a little simple green degreaser. Okay, dilute it with water. And we're gonna use brake part cleaner. We're gonna use a rag and some brake lubricant. All right, now we're just gonna to wanna to take your pads out. All right, still got a little bit of life on that. Take out the other one. Most times you can, uh, most times you can take these out, but I'm not gonna. These little metal pieces here. Most times you can take those out. All right. But I'm not gonna take them out. I'm just gonna spray them. All right, is this on? Oh, okay. Just gonna spray it. Okay. Don't you loosen up a lot of that grit which I already see there. Take your toothbrush. You're also gonna need a toothbrush. And you just start to scrub some of that stuff away. All right, you just wanna clean up this area here, which you can see this is where your brake, your brakes travel along that rotor. You just wanna try and get that toothbrush in there and just clean that up. You just want to try and get it nice and clean with that degreaser. All right. This one almost looks like it wants to drop out. All right. Just clean that. All right, let me clean that. All right, so now that you've sprayed it and got it all clean, you can I take my rag and I just go in here and I start to wipe it down. Okay, this is where I'm kind of trying to wipe away a lot of the grit. Let me just clean it all up real nice. I sometimes I even wipe away some of this grease that's out on the outside of this here. All right, go up here. And I'll clean this. Of course, afterwards, you got to clean the disc. You're going to have to clean the disc with some uh, some brake cleaner. And next time I'm due for some pads, I'm going to actually change out these metal pieces here. And most likely probably rebuild the master cylinder, the rear master cylinder. And that involves ordering new parts. Uh... I guess from Yamaha most likely or from online they have retailers online and on eBay that you can order them from and you get them in and you need to just rebuild them all right so there you go you can see that's that part there let me clean the other side just make sure it's clean this is probably the best way that I can see it not easy for me to tell but as I'm looking in the camera myself. All right. All right. 
that's that's good enough I guess all right so after that you can spray that down with some brake cleaner and then get you a nice paper cloth and wipe it all down you don't want to spray I spray all of this down I spray the rotors down and I spray this down then I'm gonna clean this caliper up same thing spray it with some simple green and then brush it with the brush all right sprayed it down with the simple green looks a little bit better basically you're just getting a lot of that grease and muck off all right won't be perfect but now I'll just spray it down with some um, with some brake cleaner and you can rotate this if you have the tool that goes inside here you can actually rotate this but I'm not gonna rotate it all right so I wiped it down with the paper towel and sprayed it looking a bit better right nice and clean so now I'm gonna clean off the pads and I'll show you where I put the grease in here and we'll put the pads back in all right so we cleaned the pads we can see this is the back of the pads here these are EBC's that's why they're orange so I cleaned the pads now we're just gonna take a little bit of this grease that I have here. Not a lot. Let's put some right here on the slide. We don't need a lot. Just taking a little bit. And then we'll put a little bit on this side here. Not a lot. Under here is usually a little harder to see. But put a little bit on there. It doesn't slide all the way across, so just put a little bit on there like that you don't need a lot that's enough just a little bit not even enough just a little bit all right so we have this one that was on this side because you can see the piston mark okay but we'll put the other side in first and as you can see that groove is there so it has to go in with the groove all right so you slide that in like that and then you just want to slide the top in also and just lean it up against it like that could fall out most likely it won't then we'll put this side in here and kind of just hold the other side and push that in there we go just like that then we'll take our caliper, put it up against it, and that just got squishied. All right, put a caliper up and in, and that's nice and clean now. All right, good, looks good. What do you guys think? All right, all right. So now we're gonna take these little bolts here. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of grease, a little bit of grease in the hand and we'll just put a little bit right along on here Not a lot all right i'm looking in the camera while i'm doing it so it's a little awkward i still have i have grease on the inside so um don't get upset with me or anything all right All right, just have to line this up a little better. There we go. All right. All right.
Oh, it's too much grease. It's too much grease. There you go. All right. Now just put a little bit of grease on here. Okay. Just put a little grease on there. Line up this side. Push that in. I like to do this with my bare hands, so. All right, just wanna make sure this is in decently. Okay. All right, just wanted to make sure it was in decently. So we'll give it a few turns. This should turn nice and easy, see? Just like how I'm turning it. Don't cross thread it. Okay, take the time. Should go in nice and easy. You can check the manual for the torque spec. I tighten them. I don't hammer down on them, but I tighten them. All right. It's probably like 12 foot pounds, somewhere around there. All right, put that on there. Give your brake pedal a press, a couple presses. Okay. And if you really want to, you can you could hit the rotor with a little little brake cleaner. Rotate the tire and clean it. You know, you can hit the rotor with a little brake cleaner along in these areas, maybe in here and down in there. But I'm not gonna. Yeah, or just or just spray the rotor and just wipe the rotor down just to make sure there's no grease on the rotor and and that's basically just cleaning it you know you do that every now and again especially with a motorcycle and try to keep it clean it all helps all right guys well thank you for watching thank you for taking the time to uh check this out and i hope it helps you in some way form or fashion